Mars. I'm the Bone Man, and I'm here with my good friend Diamond Dave. Boy. On our show, Bone Appetite. What are we doing today, Diamond Dave? We're making a Bailey's Cheese Kite with some wonderful butterscotch chips. Mm. Sounds good. So, uh, what's the first step? Well, first step is going to make the crust. We're going to do it old school. You're going to melt some of the butter over there on the stove. Four tablespoons. Why? Fire this baby up. Crush up. Where'd you put the butter, you bonehead? Two cups of graham crackers. Oh, you're pulverizing it. That uh, reminds me of that mate I had to take care of the old man. Uh, Couple of bones the other day. Oh. To make the crust, you use crumbled up graham crackers, four tablespoons of butter. And some sugar. What'd you call me? And so uh, we've already preheated our oven to 325, right? Yes, we did. Add the butter to that. Mix it around with your hands. The butter's almost there. Maybe if it was better butter, it would melt faster if it was better than butter. Uh, you just pour the butter right into the graham cracker. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice. So reaching that with a uh, and grab a fork and hand me the sugar right behind you. Put that in there. Just like Christmas. Oh man, this smells good already. Spray that out with a non stick spray. I'm going to take this, put it in there. much of this sugary, buttery substance as possible. Oh my. I'll mash it all in there. This is going to be good. Ideally, I would like to use a robo coop or something to really smash uh, the graham crackers all up. I don't believe in robots. I've got two and a half pounds of cream cheese that I've got out in the room for room temperature the last at least 15 20 minutes. It's perfect. I'll put that in the oven for seven minutes. What have you been up to lately, Diamond Dave? Any good heists? How's the diamond business? Diamond business is always going rather well. I prefer the blood diamonds, though. Blood diamonds? Oh. No, not really. And so, uh, while we're waiting to cook, I guess we can prep something else, huh? Uh, whose house are we at, anyway? I don't know, I just kind of stumbled in here. It's amazing they had all the ingredients we needed. One cup. 
orange cream. So you ready? Uh, we got about about a two and a half pounds of cream cheese. So we're gonna take this electric mixer. Uh, you're gonna start mixing it. You want the cream cheese out in room temperature for at least 20 minutes or or, or more. At least while you're working on this. Start mixing that up. Oh man, this is rough. There we go. Yeah. We would have been here all day. Heat it up nice and nice and whip like. Oh, I'm good with beans. Yeah. That's what I hear. Get it to a nice smooth state. Then use a cup and two thirds sugar. What'd you call me? Can you call me that? I'd call you a lunatic and I wouldn't get me killed. I'll take that as a compliment. God bless the Irish dream. Oh man. That's looking really good. Look at a very good consistency with this here, eh? Oh look that. So we're gonna take a half cup of this butterscotch ships here. A half cup. So, nice little on the bottom. Ah, oh, yeah. So everybody's known a little bit of Irish cream with some coffee, right? But uh, there's always the buttery nipple shop at the place that I'm always fond of. Uh, normally, I, I, I would just spoon this on here. I don't think I really have enough time. So I'm going to 
for as much of this on here as possible and, and have you. Gotta savor the flavor. <laughs> Delicious butterscotch. Oh man, that's gorgeous. Well, Diamond Dan, I don't think you sold yourself short on this one. And so uh, we're going to put it in here for uh, an hour and how many 20 years? minutes. Hour and 20 minutes. Man, what are we gonna do while we're waiting? We're gonna poke it with a um, pokey thing here. Like a. Um, a shiv? Or a toothpick. Oh, right, right, of course. And uh, see if, if too much of it hangs on to uh, the shiv or the toothpick. And if it does, it's not quite done. All right, it's been uh, uh, an hour and 20 minutes, I think. Something uh, like that. So, uh, uh, there's your bloody cheesecake. Let's get it out of there. Oh, man. Popping fresh dough. Look at this bad boy. Ooh, we might need to leave that in there just a little bit longer. A little bit longer at night. Hey, hey, look, okay, well, it's good. It's, ooh, that's nice and tasty on the edge there. But, um, look at that, how it's almost like jello. Wow. Huh. Why don't we do the, uh, toothpick test? Oh, uh, uh, toothpick. Dr. Roboto. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, man! Avalanche. Yeah, that's why I'm a cook, and he's not. And so now, after a very, very long time. Yeah, I'm not kidding. We're gonna pull out the cheesecake here. Oh, oh gorgeous! This is this is a work of art, I'm telling you. Hey, uh, Diamond Dan, Diamond Daryl, whatever your name is. Yeah, we need a hand here. We just need to let this cool down. And I've, I've got some dry chocolate syrup in the, in, the, in the little fridge over there with a little whipped cream. So once it's cooled down, you can put it in the fridge. Let it cool down and then let it get into this wobbly state. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, thank you for your expertise. Cheers. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. All right. Now that we have our cheesecake all positioned, we will begin with the cream. And some Hershey's. Bon appetit.